Mina, Kombonwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with Psalm 16, and I'm going to be looking at verses 5 and 6. This is um, a meek time of David, apparently, according to the title. Again, not, I need to find out what to call those things, but the thing that's not a verse at the top of Psalm 16. So we're going to start with verse 5. O Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. I'm kind of combining what verse 5 and verse 6 says, where it says, O Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance. And then at the end of verse 6, yes, I have a good inheritance. And this, this message goes out to all my fellow believers in Jesus Christ. Just a very friendly and a very pleasant reminder that we have a very good inheritance. Why? Because the Lord's our inheritance. Sometimes life gives us things that aren't pleasant. Sometimes we have things that we can't handle at least not on our own, but because the Lord is with us and because we know we've got him and we'll indeed have him forever. Our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. We are going to be in heaven with him. We don't necessarily rejoice in all the things that we have or whatever authority we may have or, or don't have. We don't dwell on just the good things of this life. We, didn't even, we don't even necessarily dwell on the spiritually good things we have in this life. You know, how much of the Bible we've memorized, how many people that we have brought to the Lord, how many people we've invited to church, how many sermons we've preached, how many people have depended on us for prayers and for guidance, not even how many prayers have been answered and how many times we have, um, you know, just had, you know, a good day or a good time. Our main inheritance and the main thing that is good that we have is the Lord himself in his presence. Even for those of us who, again, have, have had some rough times and probably going through some rough times right now, the Lord is our inheritance. The Lord is there. Even when a lot of stuff around us is falling apart, the Lord is there. And for a number of people, this doesn't address everybody, but to a certain number of people who think they've got it bad, if you really think on, if you think on the matter, have you really gone a day without eating, a day without having water to drink, have you gone a day without shelter? Have you? Has life been that bad and that hard? I, I've already talked to the people that have gone through some genuinely hard times, maybe going through a hard time now, but to the remainder of you, is it really that bad? Are you really having that hard a time? Please don't forget that the Lord is your inheritance, and when you have him, the lines have fallen to you in pleasant places. A lot of, the t a lot of people are going through some genuinely hard times. Other people, things really aren't that bad. They just don't have a thankful heart. They don't remember that the Lord is their inheritance. And the places where the Lord has given them things are actually quite pleasant. The places they have found themselves in, the places, the places where they are right now are actually quite pleasant. Because of not having a thankful heart, remembering the Lord's their inheritance, they don't render proper praise and proper thanks. And they have a negative attitude and a sour outlook on life. Don't do that. Don't do that. Realize how blessed you are. Realize how pleasant things are. I mean, if just the fact that you're looking at this video online, on YouTube, probably not doing too, too badly. So please keep in mind, please keep in mind the pleasant places that the Lord has brought to you and the fact that he himself is your inheritance and that you'll be with him forever. And back to those who are going through a rough time, the encouragement is that despite those hard times, the Lord is your inheritance. Keep trusting in him. Keep believing in him. And he will take you to those pleasant places. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully it encouraged some people. And hopefully it issued forth a bit of a rebuke to some people. Um, and rebukes are the path of life. That is in Proverbs. Google behind me. Check to make sure I quoted that correctly. Hopefully a little bit of both went out. Hopefully there was some encouragement. And hopefully there was some exhortation with that as well. And to both groups, I love you and God bless.